Hello, welcome. It's been a while. So this afternoon, I managed from Morocco messages me about the smooth scroll I use most of my websites, and I decided I could make this a one minute, two minutes, or five minutes video very quickly so you can learn how this works. So watch very closely so you understand what this video is about. So now if you go to most of the websites I've made, and by the way, this website is on a vote, you can get into Amelia Booking. It is actually nominated as one of the best uh, WordPress booking websites. So you can just search for your wellness and you're gonna find that there. Hit on the vote button. You can fill in your email and you click on vote now. Okay, fill in your email and submit your vote. That's all you need to do. And you're gonna see the vote progress appear right there okay so very fine so that away we are going to just look let's just look closely so so i can explain what this smooth scroll really means okay so when you're scrolling down this website you see when i drop uh stop scrolling it's have an effect that glows with it now i'm not talking about the effect from the elements inside like the text or this that just uh, fits in up not what i'm talking about now watch this second website without the scroll effect when i scroll down it stops immediately this is the native uh, website pattern when you install a website this is just how it works okay when you scroll it stops when you scroll it stops immediately you scroll it stops immediately so we are trying to make this fit out in a very subtle and friendly way so this works best if you use some kind of transition on your element for instance you have image fading in or you have text fading in up like we have from here just watch very closely see the text here fading in up so if you have this kind of effect to it add this kind of effect it's going to make the transition more subtle and more uh tense or more mean or look more interesting than it's supposed to i hope you understand uh you understand the effect like the effect we're having from here the the content moving up in a certain way i'll be bringing lessons about this okay but this specifically about uh scroll smooth scroll effects we are just going to be adding for this so let's just get right into it. i hope you get the point now when you're scrolling on this is just smart very sharp so we're going to do that for this particular website for the body ng so what you need to do is to click on add new plugin okay over here you search for smooth scroll Okay, very good. So here we go. Okay, smooth scroll. So you click to install the application. Once it's done installing, then click to activate. Once you activate, you don't need to do anything except you just want to do something. Okay, now let's get back to the smooth scroll uh, element. Let's find out. I think that should be around. Get back to your plugins. I think they didn't provide that here. Scroll down till you find mouse wheel smooth scroll. Okay, sorry about that. So click on settings right away. And here we're gonna see the frame rate, animation timeline, and the step size. I'm gonna explain all of this one after the other. Then coming down here, we're talking about the post algorithm, and we have the post scale, the post normalizer, and acceleration, acceleration delta, and acceleration max. Okay, keyboard settings, keyboard support, uh, arrow scroll, we have it at 50, and then we come back to browsers that are supported. Okay, so now let's get to from the up. I'm gonna run this very quickly. All you need is just this. Just forget about the rest of them over here. All the rest here, forget about them, even though I'm gonna give you a little bit of explanation of what they mean. Now, talking about frame rate, frame rate is the period it takes to jilter, like the period it takes to shaking, like when something is shaking, it's just like as though it's assuming that frame rate. So how many milliseconds? I think this is not even uh, calculated in milliseconds. Is it calculated in HD, which I don't know, HZ, which I don't know what particular uh, value that stands for. But for millisecond, I understand that very well. So animation time is the time it takes to animate. What time it takes to animate. Now, the difference between frame rate and animation is this. When you're scrolling down, the animation is the time it takes to scroll and stop. The time you start this mouse scroll and the time it stops. That's the animation what? That's the animation time. But the frame rate is the jiltering. What makes it effects smooth or hard? So if you want the effect to be more tougher you're going to increase this okay so you're going to play around with this as you want sometimes you can just give this a 500 and go to the front end and check it out so let's try that out open link in new tab since we are done installing this we are going to check that out from the front end and see how that actually works so get down here and let's try it out so we scroll down you see effect very smooth and subtle now let's increase that to 500 so you understand what i mean so increase that you save that and go over to home and we refresh this perfect and fine so you see the the frame rate is now taking a little more longer 
to actually take effect. So that's why I told you the frame rate is not actually the speed. The frame rate is the jiltering effect, how much you want it to jilter or how less you want it. Where the whole effect take, eff take, take place is the animation timeline and the step size. Now let's affect this by 5,000 so you see the difference. Okay, let's affect this by 5,000. Let's refresh this again. Perfectly fine. So it's affected by 5,000. You see how slow it is? You see how slow? This is very, 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 very slow. Very, very slow. Okay? So by default, it is at 1,000. I think you can leave it at that. Or you want to reduce it the more. You can make it, keep it at 500. It will be faster and but still subtle. Okay? It will be faster but still subtle. Scrolling up will be very difficult. So refresh this again. And let's see how fast this is. You see how fast this the, the the effect is subtle, but it doesn't like jump like this is just jumping. Okay, but it's still close to that jumping effect. So I think the best practice is 1,000 or 1,500 if you want it to be a little more subtle. Let's just do it at 1,500, and we save the work. So the effect now is gonna be a little more subtle. Let's see. Perfect. But this is too slow for someone, okay? This is too slow for people, I think. Even keeping it at 800 is perfect instead of 1,000. So in the steps, uh, uh, talking about the step size, this is at 100. Let's keep this at 500 while it's still at 800 uh, for animation timeline. And we refresh so we can see the effect that actually causes. You see? So what this actually means is the steps, like the spaces it covers when the scroll happens. Like there's a length this covers when scroll happens. Okay? So if you put it at 500, it covers longer space. If we keep this at 1000, okay, it will cover even longer space while we scroll. So when we refresh this, it might practically hit down to the footer. I hope you get it. The best practice, 100 and 1000. And save your work, forget about the rest of the settings, and you are good to go. Okay. Perfectly fine. So when you scroll now, you see the effect is more subtle and, and balanced, at least. It doesn't run too fast for people not to get to what they are looking for. I hope you get that. So now, uh, why it is jiltering, by the way, is because of the screen record I'm using is too heavy. If you are usually using this without a screen recorder, try to visit the website at Noya Wellness Shop. The shop, okay? You're gonna see how smooth this scroll effect is. Okay. So now that is it for this lesson. If you have any question, you can drop in the comment section below. The link to do your voting for this will be in the description below. And by the way, our next lesson, we are going to learn how to actually use a plugin for web designers to uh, check the responsiveness of website we are building. So we are going to learn this. Okay, so you're good, you'll be able to check the website on mobile on different different breakpoints and different uh, uh, mobile type. Like for this, this is for iPhone, around iPhone 13 or so. You can expand this very well and you can select the kind of phone you want from here. For instance, I want to check on Xiaomi. It will load automatically and show you the size of this particular, uh, 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 this particular uh, website on that particular device. And you can do practically everything you can do from the other uh, end from a normal mobile phone. This is not just inspect. Before now, we use the inspect option. And also, the most important part of this is that you can also take a screenshot of the whole website or just take a screenshot of uh, the frame of the website that is available. So, for instance, we can just hit the screenshot and we have taken a screenshot of the website with the frame or we can decide not to take it with the frame to just take a screenshot of just the layout or we can decide to take the screenshot of the full page it will take the screenshot of the full page of the website this will be coming up in our next lesson i'll teach you everything you need to know in this one and by the way my name is manuel from qatar studios enjoy the rest of your day